Captain America gets beefed up to fight the Nazis and a guy with a bad sunburn in a Marvel comic movie that sets the stage for a big franchise down the road. I'm Broadcast Film Critic Association member Brett Martin. Hey, thanks for watching. Chris Evans goes from 98 pound weakling to superstar to super stud in the film Captain America, The First Avenger. Just give me a chance. Sorry, son. I'm saving your life. Evans plays Brooklyn born Steve Rogers, who gets chosen by military scientists like Dr. Erskine, Stanley Tucci, for an experiment. Now, Evans ends up turning into a super buff, greased up kin-like doll, also known later as Captain America. Now, this film has some great supporting actors as well, like Tommy Lee Jones. He plays military leader Colonel Chester Phillips. Uh, Captain America's love interest is military British liaison Peggy Carter, played by Haley Adwell, and Hugo Weaving, the go-to bad guy, you might remember him from The Matrix, is the Nazi commander and villain Red Skull. Who the hell are you? The first of many. Your enemy is not what you expect. The film bookends with a modern day sequence with the middle part of the movie taking place in or around 1941 and the fight against Nazi Germany. Captain America was introduced to the public in the early 1940s. Uh, Hitler's getting punched in the jaw on the cover of this first edition. But now, years later, it's still an American favorite and should make fans very happy. It's done well, Chris Evans is perfect in the main role, and it's patriotic. What do you think? I think it works. The storyline takes the main character from weakling to muscle man to circus freak to superhero. This formula, to an extent, has been used before, but I do like comic book movies. What I didn't like was the 3D. The format works well in this film, but it's an extra cost for moviegoers and it's not necessary. 3D, in my opinion, is running out of steam. We can't say that though about this film. The Flickometer gives Captain America, the first Avenger, a respectable and very good four out of five. Marvel has been working towards setting up this backstory for a while now. And now that all the pieces are in place with this film, you only have something really good to happen in the future, like uh, the Avengers with the Hulk and Iron Man and Captain America and several others. Thor, that's in 2012. So now you know before you go, grab your phone and scan this QR or quick response code right now and send me a message. Just point, click, text, and send. I'm Brett Martin. Thanks for watching this FlickedUp.com review.